our opponent brings out its queen, and it's our job to hunt it down. We're going to start by pushing with the pawn. Okay, there's an exchange there. That wasn't the idea. Kinside castling. We're going to castle the safety. Black decides to bring out its bishop. Black wants to trade queens here. No. We're not going to do it. We're going to take with a pawn. Remember, we've got a queen defending f3. And by the way, the pawn on e5 can't really do anything. So we're just going to continue developing. Now, the reason, other reason black brought out its bishop is to defend c7 from a fork. So we're not going to be able to fork from c7. We're considering it, though. Check. After black checks, we move out of the way. But we can slide our rook over and put more pressure on the queen. And this is good because once the queen moves out of the way, the queen's going to be limited in space. But we've got a little trick up our sleeves. We're going to take with the rook. Black decides to lock up both knights. This is our opportunity. What do we want to do? We want to get our bishop to f7 for a fork. That means we're going to take with the knight. If black takes here, we've still got checks. If black takes here, we've Check. got this. And the only way black can get around that is to take with this king. Check. Which isn't great either. Uh, as played in the game, black decides to take with the knight. And we simply take with the bishop. Check. And from that point, black decides to resign because it has to move the king or capture. Capturing being the best option there. 